You too, my nice man. This is your man, Tivo. Welcome to Lords of the Long Box. Uh, and this is a mulligan, man. Um, if you watch the live show I did uh, <clears throat> on um, Thursday, um, I kind of we had a lot of issues going on, so I kind of uh, stalled because we were running late, and so uh, I, I just did an impromptu uh, showing of my CGC mail call. And uh, I didn't like the way it came out, man. I didn't like the lighting that came out on it and stuff like that. So, oh, I said and stuff like that. Shout out to Otto. Um, so I want to do it a, a proper haul with good lighting that comes in from both sides. So there's no glare. So uh, for those who haven't seen it yet, this is a uh, CDC combo call I got. Uh, this was submitted a while ago. There was some delays in it. Um, I got a press from my man Rocket Comics, and he submitted it to CDC for me. This is a modern um, CDC submission, meaning modern not in like, you know, it came out in 2000, but a lot of them are modern in the CDC terms, meaning any 1975 and newer so I'm going to put this here just to leave a little suspense. I mean, for those who saw the live show, but you know, I, I figure a lot of comic book hall people don't watch our live shows for the long-term spec. And if you didn't, here's a, just another video I did because I, 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 I saw the video. I was going to, I was going to chop it up and just put it out, but I wasn't happy with the quality of it, um, with the glare and everything. And you know me, man, I'm a perfectionist for the most part. <laughs> for those who have been in the live shows uh, as guests, you know what I'm talking about. I can be, uh, hey man, fix your mic. Hey man, fix your uh, your, uh, your camera. Fix your this. So uh, you either hate me or you love me. But hey, let's get right to it, boys and girls. Uh, first off, it's a uh, this. I have multiple copies of this. I don't know why I picked this one. I don't know. It may have been just because it was sitting there. And to be honest with you, there were I I sit on so many modern books then don't get them slabbed so i literally had 30 40 of them and i was like man should, i don't know if i should submit all these it seems like a a lot um so you know i was like you know it's gonna cost you a lot of money but i uh, you told uh, i used discount code for rocket comics and i get 20 percent off my pressing so including these i think there's like 16 of these and i did like uh 10 or 12 um pre-75 books 1975 books so if you think about that you know pressing is like ten dollars a book so that's what three hundred dollars maybe i saved 20 percent off that that's not a bad deal so make sure hit up rocket comics on the lord to send you so to save 20 percent off your pressing order so this one um i this is like my third or fourth copy i've been picking these up ever since they first came out because i thought it was cool and then i got options so then i still started picking them up and they're still relatively cheap so i thought this had a really good chance of getting a nine eight um in my old age it's hard for me to see where the dings are especially on these type of colored books so i was hoping for a nine eight let's see what i got oh nine six all right well you know what i got three other ones so we'll see man this is the first appearance of Aaron Tank, KJ McKenzie, Mac, Coyle, Tiffany Quinlan, Rap Rock Cover. Obviously, this is coming to, I believe it's going to be an Amazon series. So don't sleep on this book, man. Next up is a book that I always say everybody should have in their collection. Um, this is Amazing Spider Man 252. Uh, if you read the actual label, it says ties with Marvel team on 141 for the first appearance of the black costume. It's an amazing fantasy 15 homage. So I've had this for a while. Um, I've had a few. I, I actually used to have like four of these and then I sold them a while back and I always kept one 
for the personal connection. And I knew there was this one ding right here. I won't bring it up to the camera because you probably won't be able to see it. But there's like one little ding. And I was like, ah, I hope, uh, you know, I'd be happy with a 9.6. But, you know, sometimes CDC can be a little stingy on this book since there's so many of them. You can see the there's a little, the spine goes a little bit there. There's another tick there. So, really, I'm counting one, two, three. This one breaks color. Uh, well, actually, they all break color because I got them pressed. So, um, you know, I was like, you know what, nine, four, I'd be happy. Nine, eights, these books are absolutely uh, incredible to get a nine, eight. So, uh, what did I get? You know what? I'm cool with that, man. I am cool with that because I can see that color break right there. So I'm happy with the 9.6, man. Happy with the 9.6. This day is in the PC. Paper Girls. Oh, that that baby's getting sold. Um, This is... You always talk about, hey, how come you never show DC books, TiVo? Oh, I just referred to myself in the third person. Did I, though? Because I was using somebody else saying it. I got... Um, I submitted three of these... I already have one nine eight, um, so obviously I, I bought. This is when right before all the stuff was coming out, so I got them for a pretty good price. So I think I got them maybe like fifteen bucks or twenty bucks or something like that. So this is before all the major hype. So I got three of them, and I thought they were. I to me when remember when I did my video, I said I think these. I uh, hopefully these will come back nine eight. They look like nine eights to me, but you never know. And I'm getting old and blind, so yes. Karate Chop! <laughs> All right, so there's one down. Uh, trust me, I have I have more than one, just in case you're you're wondering. I mean, there's three, so just say, uh, you know, whatever somebody was saying, he's just taking the same slab and putting it over and over again. Uh, let's see what I got on the second one. If you remember, this says first full appearance of Punchline right there. Hey! Karate Chop. So far, two out of three. That ain't so bad. Last one. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh my Jeopardy. Nine, eight. Look at that. Three for three on Punchline. That I'm pretty happy for. So now I have four nine eights of this. Um, I'm going to sell them. All of them eventually um remember at the beginning i told you this submission took a bit of time um so do you remember when this was a thing and for some reason i sat on it and i was just like why do I, why am i sitting on this uh you know I, I should either you know sell it or slab it so i slabbed it and it's i mean it's been so long that this you know that's what we always tell you man if you're gonna spec or flip modern man it, the key, timing is the key to everything fast tracking and do whatever but you know uh with rocket it was it was uh, there was some miscommunication between he and i and then i you know i i didn't do the proper paperwork and i finally submitted it so by the time but you know what no big deal what's interesting it doesn't even mention her name i think reen or ryan i don't know how to r-i-e-n supposedly wolverine's daughter it's not even mentioned on the cover so man there you go art adams cover nine six so there you go sometimes you got to show your losses as well because i don't know if this book is really worth the slab that it's in now to be honest with you you never know sometimes these things change because i have two of them so uh let's see what the second one did because you know surely they both can't be nine eight karate chop not bad so i mean like i said timing if anybody wants to make an offer on one of those hit me up man hit me up hit me up next up are two books that i really really was interested in seeing uh what they were going to come back as uh so let's get right to it and this is very uh present right now uh you guys want some music all right i'll get you some music man what do you want to hear uh some jamie jupiter this is the first appearance of Macaulay, kamala khan in a one panel cameo for all those who debate argue first appearance whatever man anyway it's whatever this label says first appearance kamala khan in a one panel cameo um, I've, I've, 
I've actually had these books for a while now. So, you know, the, sometimes the danger of sitting on a book for too long is in, you may inadvertently damage it or something happens to it or it's in a box. So that's why I was worried. I was like, but I was like, you know what? This looks like a 9A candidate to me, man. First appearance of Kamala Khan is hot right now. Skadoosh. All right. I take that. I like that. And I had this other Captain Marvel book. And I know I have another one in my long box somewhere. I forgot which one it was. I think it's that uh, one cover with uh, Captain Marvel and Spider-Man, which I think is, well, not Kamala Khan. Never mind. Um, this is the second appearance of a Kamala Khan on a cameo on the last page, the last issue of this run of Captain Marvel. Uh, another little key issue in the Kamala Khan key issues. 9-8. All right. Somewhere out there, El Auto is karate chopping the hell out of himself right now. Keeping with these uh, modern female characters. First full appearance of Riri Williams. This is just the regular cover. Um, and I got these a while ago, too. I've been sitting on them. And I was thinking, I looked at these and I was like, you know what? These could be nine eights. I see there's a little stuff going on in the staples. And I always worry about it, about on these modern books that are so new. I mean, it came out in 2016 that, you know, CGC is a little bit more stringent on the grading on these. So um, let's see, man. Ree Williams is a hot character, too, right now. Nine eight. I'll take that bad boy. So nice. I liked it twice. I submitted two of them, and if you guys don't believe me, rewind the video and look at the uh, num look at the number here, and you'll see that they're different. Uh, this is the second one at first appearance of Ruby Williams. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but anyway, nine point eight. There you go. So we're on a good streak now. Until these came. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh man. All right, so this is Incredible Iron Man number seven. Always crack me up on the label on this. It's like the first appearance of Tomo. Like, who cares if it's the first appearance of Tomo? But more importantly, it's the first appearance of Ruby Williams in a cameo on the last page. So this book is obviously, you know, it's this this book and the other book. And they're actually different volumes, believe it or not, than the uh, other one, Invincible Iron Man. Number nine, which I just showed you, number seven. Or hell, maybe they may be the same one. Yeah, 716. Five. Yeah, these are from the same run. Never mind, my bad. Uh, so let's see what I got. I'm telling you, wide pages are my Achilles heel because I can't see the color breaks on a white page. I don't know if it's, I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but on a black cover or a dark cover, you can spot them a mile away. But on a white cover, it's really hard to see a spine tick that breaks color because the color's white. Nine, six. Ah, man. Unless this, this character gets super, super, super hot, then, you know, this book, you know, this is one of those books that would be a big uh, a price difference between a nine, six and a nine, eight. So a little bum, but hey, at least it's a 9.6. Not a 9.4 or 9.2 or fucking modern white pages. Shout out to Roger Levesque. All right. This is, I think, the at least one of the more prominent variants that most people go out and get. This is uh, Invincible Iron Man number seven. Oops. Invincible Iron Man number seven. This is the Women in Power variant. Uh, that most people seem to be drawn to. Even though Ree Williams is no longer on the cover or anything, and maybe it's the ratio, but people seem to gravitate toward this one. So, what do I get? Oh, 9 6. So, hey, can't win them all, right? Uh, these next two books are the oldest books uh, on the submission, even though they are technically considered modern uh, under CDC grading world. Uh, but I got two more Nova books. You know, I think I have three or four other slabs already. Uh, I, I don't know if I have a 9-8. I think the 9-8 escaped me. I do have a 9-6 signed by Marv Wolfman, though. I'm trying to remember, man. It's, when your collection gets out of control like that and you can't remember stuff. Uh, so, obviously, this is the origin of first appearance of Nova, a.k.a. Dick Ryder. 
It's also interesting. It says the first appearance of Ginger J for some reason, whoever that is. Um, but let's see what I got. So when I saw this, I, I bought them raw and I go, no way this is getting a 9.8 or 9.6. I was like, you know, um, you know, the way the amount of you would think the print run on this is like a 100,000 or something because, man, people are hoarding the hell out of these. So I, I was thinking, man, the CTC probably sees these all the time and they're pretty stringent saying, ah, you know. So I was thinking between the 9.0 to 9.4 range is where. Uh, I was putting this. I've seen worse, to be honest with you. So what I get? 9.4. I'm cool with that, man. I'm cool with that. So I think I have a 9.2, a 9.0, a 9.2, nine, a 9.4, and now a 9.6. Uh, the 9.8 has eluded me. I don't even know if I think I'll get it now. I think I, I, I've, I've been priced out of a 9.8 by now. Uh, but you never know. You know, if somebody wants to trade, if you have a 9.8, I need that to complete. Then I'll have the entire collection of 9s. <laughs> 9 90 92 94 96 and then i need a 98 so this is the second one i guess i just well i told you both of them i didn't think had, had a you know a chance of hitting 96 maybe cuz my man uh, rocket comics did a great job pressing these uh to where they are now so uh, you know my thing was on the low range 9.0 on the high range 92 the 94 so what do we get Hey now, Dick Ryder Karate Chop, 9.4. So, all right, I'll take that. Take that. I just got to add all of these to my uh, cover price collection and watch the values go up by $50,000. No, I'm just kidding. If you haven't checked out cover price, you can add all these slabs and it tells you how much value there were. This is one of the uh, books that are super, super hot right now. Um, rumors of him being developed for marvel or the mcu this of course is the first appearance of the blue marvel adam Bashir, also anti-man i've had this for a while now and i remember i bought this off ebay for 25 30 bucks and i thought you know that was pretty expensive this was probably about two or three years ago right um a lot of kind of it, Blue Marvel started getting a cult following for some reason. Low print, relatively low print run, five issue miniseries that is, you don't see them that often. So, really, this book is, you know, I think people, collectors seek it out because they don't see it that often. I mean, you know, when Adam, Le Adam Legend of the Blue Marvel came out as a miniseries back in 2009, do you remember the solicits for it and all the hype for it that, like, nowadays they have? But anyway. This he's obviously become a very prominent character, very powerful character, and he's in the Ultimates uh, series as one of the leaders. Very smart, very powerful. Rumored to be coming to the MCU. Uh, matter of fact, we spread that rumor. Well, we didn't spread the rumor. We got it as a scoop from a man, Mikey Sutton. So I've been sitting on this for a while, and I was praying for a nine eight because in a nine six there is a huge price difference between a nine six and a nine eight. Let's see what my man Rocket Comics did for me. Skadoosh. 9.8 white pages. I am happy for that. I do believe that puts it at a right around a $1,200 book uh, for a 9.8, which is absolutely ridiculous for a book that came out in 2009. But it just shows you how everybody's a collector nowadays and um, everybody is hypersensitive and wants to get all those first issues. So there you go, man. Legend Adam, Legend of the Blue Marvel number one, first appearance of Adam Bashir, the Blue, aka the Blue Marvel, and this is I, this is the one I'm most happy about that came back as a 9.8. Um, the other ones, you know, it'd be nice, but I think this one has the lower print run and has more upside than those other ones like Riri Williams um, and uh, Kamala Khan, since you know they put pretty high print runs on those, but this. I'm bullish on this book. So definitely staying in the personal collection. I hope they do something good with them. So, hey, appreciate you guys for watching this twice. Uh, if you watch the live video or if you're watching it the first time, uh, leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button for more content like that. We go live every Tuesday and Thursday with our cover price list, top tens. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching, man. So I just want to do a little show and tell. And hopefully I'll get my other CGC submission, which is all my silver and bronze age books back in the next uh, few weeks or so uh, before I do another combo call, man. So 
Thanks for watching. And until, as always, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.